sign up for newsletters and alerts submit your news tips or photos after a boy sitting at courtside hit Russell Westbrook during the Nuggets Thunder game at the Pepsi Center on Tuesday, Oklahoma City's star guard said fans have too much leeway to touch players. Russell Westbrook pulled the dad card on a Nuggets fan after the kid gave him a little push. Pick.twitter.com slash B4NBTXLV9R, ESPN, at ESPN, February 27, 2019, he hit me, Westbrook said in a post-game interview with ESPN. So I told his dad, you know, be careful, man. You can't have your son just hitting random people. I don't know him, he don't know me. So, just let him know. You just got to control your kids, it's that simple. Be responsible for his kid. Watch the games right there, have fun, enjoy. For all the fans, though, it's too much leeway for the fans to touch the players and get away with it, Westbrook added, there's got to be some type of rule or some boundaries set that you can't allow that. The Nuggets would win the game 121-112. to It's not the first time Westbrook had an on-court fan interaction at the Pepsi Center. In February 2018, he shoved a Nuggets fan who taunted him on the court after the game. Joan Wynn, the Denver Post Collision A special offer for sports omelet readers. Subscribe to the Denver Post sports coverage for just $99 for the first month and only $6.99 per month thereafter. Cancel anytime. What's on tap? Nuggets, Utah Jazz, 8.30 p.m. Thursday, Alt TNT, buy tickets Avalanche, at San Jose Sharks, 8.30 p.m. Friday, Alt buy tickets TV, radio, here's what sports are airing today, scoreboard NHL, Avalanche 3, Canucks 2 full story, box score check out our new and improved stats page. Must read Denver Broncos general manager Jen Elway speaks during a press conference at the NFL Football Scouting Combine in Indianapolis, Wednesday, February 27, 2019. Kisla, why John Elway gave up on Case Keenum and gave the Broncos QB job to Joe Flacco. I'm not going to sit on my hands, Elway said. I'm not going to try to draft a quarterback and wait three years, read more. Colin Wilson, 22, of the Colorado Avalanche speeds around the rink towards the net in the third period as the Colorado Avalanche lose 4-1 to the Nashville Predators at the Pepsi Center November. 7, 2018 in downtown Denver. Avalanche forward Colin Wilson played on another team with a dreadful OT record Avalanche forward Colin Wilson remembers having the same problem in Nashville. Wilson was with the Predators in 2016-17 when they advanced to the Stanley Cup Final. But they were dreadful in overtime. Read more. Colorado Rockies third baseman Nolan Arenado, 28, smiles during his press conference at Salt River Fields February 27, 2019. Colorado Rockies owner, Dick Montfort, right, sits next to Neil Owen. The Colorado Rockies and Arenado signed an eight-year, $260 million dollar deal, the largest in franchise history, with an opt-out clause after three years. I'm here for the long haul, Rockies announced Nolan Arenado's record contract Arenado, Colorado's baseball-obsessed all-star who, in the wake of signing an eight-year, $260 million contract with Colorado on Tuesday, is excited to completely focus his energy on the Rockies' World Series aspirations. Read more. Quick hits AV's mailbag, Colorado has overtime issues, postseason outlook Joe Sackick update and more Will Barton shuts down Paul George, finds a fence in Nuggets victory Broncos coach Vic. Fangio on adding players familiar with him. Overrated Broncos GM John Elway preaches optimism, Sanders, Wolf to return O'Halloran, Joe Flacco who? Broncos, Ravens not talking about quarterback at NFL Combine. Rockies podcast breakdown of top young prospects from spring training Rockies recap, Angels out slug Rockies as Trevor Story homers, Jeff Hoffman gets roughed up Johnny Manziel released barred from other CFL teams post mailbag forms Broncos mailbag, have a question about the team? Ask Ryan O'Halloran here. Nuggets mailbag, have a question about the team? Ask Mike Singer here. AV's mailbag, have a question about the team? Ask Mike Chambers here. Rockies mailbag, have a question about the team? Ask Patrick Saunders here.
By the numbers 2022 Major League Baseball has reportedly told the Players Union it is willing to postpone implementing a 20-second pitch clock until 2022, after the current labor agreement expires as part of a broad proposal on rule changes that could alter mound visit restrictions, roster size and more. Read more. Parting shot sportscaster Ralph Lawler speaks on stage as he is honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on March 3, 2016 in Hollywood, Calif. Clippers announcers apologize for mocking ex-NBA player who died in 2011 Monday's Clippers-Mavericks game created headlines when Los Angeles coach Doc Rivers called a late timeout and encouraged the home crowd to cheer for Dallas Dirk Nowitzki, who may be in his final NBA season. Earlier in the game, Nowitzki was indirectly involved in another episode that caused ripples, and caused the Clippers announcing team to apologize. Read more, get in touch if you see something that's cause for question or have a comment, thought or suggestion, email me at dboniface at denverpost.com or tweet me at Daniel Boniface.